atmosphere allows scientists to determine whether life as we know it could conceivably exist on the alien world. In 2008, Hubble made the first visible light image of an extrasolar planet. It's in orbit around the bright southern star Formalhort, which is about 25 light years away in the constellation of Pisces Australis. The star is surrounded by an immense debris disk, measuring over 35 billion kilometers across. The planet is orbiting about 3 billion kilometers inside the disk's sharp inner edge, which is about 10 times the distance between Saturn and the Sun. By measuring bright stars that vary predictably, known as Cepheids, Hubble has been able to use these stars as distance markers, laying a firm foundation for subsequent measurements that led to the discovery of the accelerating universe and a more precise determination of its age. Astronomers have used Hubble to observe Cepheids and to pin down their distances much more accurately. These results were used as a stepping stone to measure the distances to supernovae, which in turn told us about the scale of the universe. As a result, today we know the age of the universe with much more precision than before Hubble. It is about 13.7 billion years. In the 1920s, Hubble's namesake, the astronomer Edwin Hubble, discovered that the universe was expanding. The observatory that bears his name helped to determine the rate of this expansion and to show that in fact this expansion was accelerating. This was the smoking gun that pointed to the existence of the elusive dark energy. When we look up at the night sky, it is easy to believe that space is just a giant void with some twinkling stars and a few recognizable planets. However, we must remember that there are structures and matter that we cannot see. Hubble is helping to define in three dimensions the distribution of ghostly and invisible dark matter in the universe. Studies completed in 2007 and earlier this year gave astronomers a clearer idea of the structures that lie between galaxies. Now these structures do not contain any stars and they're made up mostly of dark matter which makes them somewhat difficult to identify. By analyzing the Cosmos survey which is the largest survey ever undertaken with Hubble, international teams of astronomers were able to obtain one of the most important results in cosmology, a three-dimensional map which gave us a first and unique look at the web-like large-scale distribution of dark matter in the universe. This landmark result accurately confirmed our theory of structure formation. Hubble has allowed for many comprehensive studies of the life and death of stars, the way stars develop, live their lives, and eventually die. Closely following the timeline of stars, we get a better idea of what is happening in our own galaxy and others. Sensitive infrared instruments on board Hubble allow us to peer through clouds and columns of interstellar dust to witness the birth of stars. Many Hubble images feature blue, hot stars at the early stages of their lives. At the other end of the stellar lifetime, Hubble lets us see remote supernovae and gamma-ray bursts, the final dramatic explosions that signal the end of a star's life. And now I'm proud to present Hubble's 20th anniversary image. Hubble captured the chaotic activity atop a three light year tall pillar of gas and dust in the Carina Nebula located about 7,500 light-years away in the southern constellation of Carina. The pillar is being eaten away by the brilliant light from nearby stars, and it is also assaulted from within, as infant stars buried inside fire off jets that can be seen streaming away from the towering peaks. Nestled inside this dense mountain are fledgling stars, Long streamers of gas can be seen shooting in opposite directions from the pedestal at the top of the image. Another pair of jets is visible at another peak at the center of the image. These jets are an indicator for the birth of new stars. A jet like this is launched by a swirling disk around a star, and it is this disk that allows material to slowly accrete onto the surface of the star. What a fantastic image! And what a great way to celebrate this amazing observatory's capabilities. Thanks for the past 20 years, Hubble, and here's to many more. This is Dr. J, 
signing off for the Hubblecast and wishing Hubble and all those who admire it a happy 20th anniversary. Now that you've caught up with Hubble, make sure to get the latest from the ground too. The ESOcast highlights the best of the European Southern Observatory and its powerful telescopes that observe from high in the Chilean Andes at the Southern Hemisphere's best-known sites for astronomical observations.